It's fair to say we had a creative mind at one point in our lives, and for a good reason. There's many different forms of art in the world. It's natural that a person's creativity would grow. We live in an era where entertainment thrives every day. Movies, TV, video games, music, and more continue to be an impact and influence on its aspiring audience. But what if you felt like you wanted more? Of course, this works in foreign media, but I want to mention a medium in particular I'm sure people are aware of, but aren't aware of the influence it has on this country. And this is Japan's animation and manga. I believe you've heard of anime before, regardless of your opinion. However, I don't think people are aware of the impact and influence it's had on not only the West, but the world. And I want to be able to help those creative minds to have more variety as well, to help influence them in return. But in order to do that, we need to revisit the 1980s. 80s pop culture was at an all-time high. The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Star Wars were a massive success. But there are projects in the East that are prospering so far that it was astonishing animation could be this successful. Animation is nothing new to the West, of course but it is really within the East which strive the most, for this is a time where arguably the most exciting times in anime history, that many dub it as the golden age of anime. This was a time where projects was aimed at no one and could be respected by everyone. It didn't need to endear to anyone in the audience and had no virtual barriers, leaving them to be adult and introspective and beautiful. The success was staggering as well. 50 feature anime films in the 1970s were produced in Japan, but in the 1980s that number rose to new heights, with 219 films being produced and increasing every year. Its box office numbers are amazing too. Spirited Away is the number one grossing film in Japan of all time, grossing in at 30.8 billion yen in Japan. In comparison to Avengers Endgame, Spirited Away trails behind with only a 2.5 million gap, and Avengers Endgame is the highest grossing film of all time. That is insane. And while Akira didn't do nearly as well, it's arguably the most influential anime movie of all time, impacting pop culture and paving the way for growth, influencing numerous works in movies, TV, video games, and music. Films like Akira were able to produce companies to license and distribute them to the West, like Funimation and Viz Media. It inspired countless creators to produce their anime-inspired works in the West, Shows like Avatar The Last Airbender, Ruby, and The Boondocks are prime examples. All three are critically acclaimed. The fact that their success continues to run in this day should be awe-inspiring. Not only that, but a mangaka, a Japanese comic book art there, can also have just as much significance as animation. Like Inoue Takahiko. He created the sports series Slam Dunk, and not only did it become immensely popular, but it is also the core reason why basketball is such a big sport in Japan. It's amazing how a person can produce a creative piece of art and utterly change the world. And you can too. So, you know what transformation the world took with anime as its influence. So where do you start? It's simpler than it seems. It suggests you start with the previously stated golden age of anime. If you're looking for variety and inspiration, there's hundreds upon thousands of content to keep you satisfied and for you to experience gorgeous execution of both writing and art. If you're more of a reader and want to see art, then I suggest you start with manga. If you want more in the action adventure genre, then I suggest you start with Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Villain Saga, Tokyo Ghoul, and Jujutsu Kaisen. For comedy, try Kaguya-sama, Love is War. Drama would be A Silent Voice, Blue Flag, and Vagabond. And finally for sports, try Slam Dunk, Haikyuu, and Ice Shield 21. If you're a fan of Thriller, I suggest Monster. Dr. Kenzo Tenma is a talented brain surgery in Germany. One night, he risks his entire career and reputation to save the life of a young boy over the town mayor. Years later, Tenema encounters that boy again and learns he's a terrifying serial killer. To atone his, for his naive decision, he embarks on a manhunt across Europe to take the very life he once saved. Their series kept me on the edge of my seat for 90% of the time, and while the characters aren't nearly as well written in my opinion, the mystery surrounding Johan and where he comes from and what his goal is and amazing, producing arguably the greatest antagonist to ever be in anime. I hope this helped you a bit. With this, I hope you've taken into consideration the variety given and help you with more inspiration in your creations. If one man can persuade an entire country to play a sport and the other can be icons that influence art for years to come, then I suggest you give it a try so you could do the same and even do it on a higher level.